Jen Korean Barbecue House is an upscale Korean barbecue experience from Los Angeles, California, and franchised to the Philippines in August 2017 by Exelor Restaurant Management Group. Their first branch outside the United States and largest branch in the world was built at SM by the Bay close to the SM Mall of Asia with a seating capacity of 500 guests. Jen is undoubtedly one of the best Korean barbecue buffets you can enjoy in the Philippines as they use premium imported meats, tasty sauces, and have efficient service. So while you may pay double or even triple the price of the average Korean barbecue buffet in Manila, you will be getting what you pay for. The modern interiors have a K-pop vibe and ambient neon-lit portal lighting. Hi everybody, we just arrived at Jen Korean Barbecue here at SM Mall of Asia. It's our first time here and we're going to have a buffet of assorted dishes. Starting off with the short rib, beef belly, and beef brisket. The buffet price starts at 598 pesos or $12 up to 1288 pesos or $26 per adult depending on your choice of over 30 different cuts and dishes and the day of the week. On this visit, we feature their weekend 998 peso $20 lunch buffet. Take note, the banchan, beef, pork, and chicken are all imported from the United States, so the dining experience and flavor should be the same as the U.S. branches. Only the seafood and vegetables are local. We would highly recommend focusing on the premium Shadol U.S. Angus beef brisket and the Wubisal beef belly. So the sauces are a green tea salt, sesame oil, and brisket sauce. How is that calamari? It's crunchy. Can I try? Okay. And it is good. Can I show me? Mm, I think this is meat. <laughs> it's this very <laughs> fishy flavor. But in a good sense. 
butter is very light, super. Probably, uh, let it fry it again, but it's okay. How is this a Jack J? Looks like it's pure vegetarian. Yeah. Not much ingredients. It's okay. But also, it's not so awesome. For the buffet here, it's a time limit. You have two hours starting from your first order. Okay, Alexandro, come closer. Come closer so you can put it. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Help me. Okay, I'll help you here. Oh. Okay, you're starting off oh. with the beef belly. Very nice grill plate, it's not really sticking, and of course, all the oil just comes out. Okay, I'm starting off with the beef belly. That's the green tea salt and sesame oil. Mm. It's extremely tender and I like their dipping sauces this green tea salt is something else with the sesame oil that's a great start we have next the brisket rolled up <laughs> brisket just looks gorgeous and so you know the meat here is all U.S. beef the big ticket item here is the premium shadol which is their premium Angus beef brisket so they have a special brisket sauce for it I made mine a little bit crispy with some charring. Mm. That's definitely a mouthful. It's tender, savory, delicious. It's one of their signature meats to order for the barbecue. I also ordered two soups, the Duenjang soup and the Sundubu. The Duenjang soup is a miso-based uh, tofu and cucumber soup, not spicy. It has the full miso flavor. I would recommend this. Tofu stock. Now this one is the Sundubu soup. This is a spicy tofu soup. It's also with cucumbers and, and soft tofu. Spiciness level, I would say, is medium. I think these are two excellent Korean soups to accompany your Korean barbecue. Okay, up next, the Nuk Gansal, which is their marinated beef short rib. A little bit of fat on it, but I think this should be tender. Sana's adding the bulgogi here. 
Beef bulgur. Okay, now to try the marinated short rib. Wow. That is so juicy. And tender. Considering the cut of the meat. That is another must order here. I am trying beef Alexandra in the house. Help me! <laughs> Good. Help me! Very good. So we're on our last few meat dishes and as you can see our favorites are really the uh, beef belly and beef brisket. So that's what I would highly recommend over here. How about you babe? What were your favorites? Um, well, we're done with the buffet but now we're having dessert and we're having their Long Island iced tea. This is probably one of the best Long Island iced teas I've had in a very long time. It's cloudy and it's just super refreshing and, and powerful. It's, it's, the not, way, it's the way a Long Island iced tea should be. It's not dessert. <laughs> it's my dessert. Cheers. No, I want dessert. Okay, we'll get your dessert later. So Alexandra, I, as a kid, which would you like the most? I like this one. 